Hey guys, David here and welcome to another Endurance Laser video. Today we're gonna take a look at four different ways of engraving images. The ones that I'm gonna take a look at are grayscale, dither, threshold and newsprint. And they all do the same thing. They, you can take an image and engrave it onto whatever you want. Though they have different approaches for that. Let's first take a look at the preview and you'll be able to see really well what I mean. Here uh, I turned off the traversal moves so it's more visible. Grayscale is going to modulate the power of your laser so that it creates different intensities of the burn. You need to set up the main and the max very precisely so that uh, if it only sends half the power the wood actually only gets half a start. Dither is a lot easier to set up as it sends either full or no power uh, and the way that it uh, creates the different uh, brightnesses is by creating different lengths of lines and points uh, to get different darknesses. Threshold is much much more simple, it either makes black or no uh, engraving at all. Uh, that one is uh, for more simpler designs or maybe logos. And Newsprint is almost a bit artistic. It also uses either the max power you set or no power at all. And you uh, kind of get these like uh, different blobs. Uh, and on a smaller image like this, it doesn't really look all that good, but it could be uh, something artistic that you're going for. Let's just quickly take a look in here into the settings. For me, I'm engraving at 500 millimeters a second. For stuff like that, where the intensity changes all the time, I found that it never gets up to that speed anyway, since it is always accelerating and decelerating. So it doesn't matter that much. What matters is that the maximum power, for me, that is 12% with a 10 watt endurance laser and the main power zero. That's gonna modulate the power between zero and 12. And then down here in image mode, that's where you can set the different ones. Uh, you can see that there are more uh, ones available, but I'm only going to take a look at the four that I just showed you. And that's basically it already. You can set the line interval here. And let's just take a look at how that looks once we engrave it with the laser. So I have a piece of MDF set up in there now, and I'm going to press start on the engraving process and we're gonna see what the grayscale looks like. So here we are with the results and as you can see uh, they all turned out relatively nice and there it kind of depends on how you look at it. From a distance uh, for example the newsprint looks actually really sharp but if you get really close and look at it it doesn't look very good at all. You can also see that it's quite hard to get a good image with grayscale. Mine is still not quite dialed in and while you can see a lot more detail here in the scales of the snake. Uh, compared to all the others, uh, it also does have some areas that are kind of not all that nice and a little bit too dark. If you have a simpler image and are looking for something that just pops from a distance and doesn't necessarily have too much detail, then Threshold actually does look really nice as well. It's certainly the one with the most contrast out of all of them. Dither here didn't work all that nicely. Uh, I guess it was just too fine and not enough uh, contrast. That's also something you have to make sure that if you engrave something, an image, make sure it has a lot of contrast. That the highlights should be basically white and the darks should be basically black. That way you get the best result possible. But I hope this here uh, gives you a little bit more of an idea when deciding what to do for your next project. 